Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com, on Roku, Dwyer Boxing, and Sports News, on iTunes, one word, Dwyer Boxing News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, sometimes when I make a video here online, I tap into a mood among YouTubers who are interested in boxing that let's say an underdog is a live underdog right that the casual fan feels a little bit differently than the boxing hardcore here online and people will say hey you know uh, I agree with you uh, for these reasons and they'll cite their own reasons right and you'll get a feeling that hardcore boxing fans feel that a casino pricing is mispriced but then there are times like this where earlier today I made a video where I'm picking Kiko Martinez over Carl Frampton as my lead bet uh, in the rematch between the two and I'm hedging to play with Frampton by KO right in my opinion Frampton can't box with Martinez right I view Martinez as having solved Frampton's puzzle I also think Martinez has the better footwork, right? Well, understand, YouTube Nation has responded. And most of you disagree with me strongly. I'm making this video to give both points of view, right? Sometimes I'm right. Sometimes YouTube Nation's right. So before you gamble on this fight, just understand that most people disagree with my earlier video right what I've done is I've also posted in my YouTube channel page some other fights that you need to see right including Kiko Martinez's fight against Hazumi Hasegawa right now I strongly urge people to take a look at that fight let me just point out I believe since losing to Frampton Martinez has actually fought guys who are better than Frampton, right? Keep in mind, Martinez picked up a title and then went to Japan and fought Hasegawa, right? I have both of those fights with, of course, the first fight between Frampton and Martinez on my YouTube channel page. Now, I made the argument in my video my earlier video that I thought Martinez took over the fight midway through that first fight and I thought he wins round six seven eight then he gets stopped right in round nine my argument was simply that Martinez was picking up steam that the KO was really of the one punch variety I didn't see any systematic deconstruction of Martinez by Frampton. Now Michael Cameron, a longtime subscriber here online, wrote this in response to the video. Just be aware that this point of view is out there. Think you're overanalyzing this, Dwyer. I just watched those rounds and still give Frampton the seventh. Martinez wins the eighth, but Frampton takes control again in the ninth, and the knockout is clinical. Frampton is landing all the cleaner, harder punches for most of the fight. Though Martinez is lurching forward like a man possessed and is catching Frampton, I see this as similar to Madonna rushing Mayweather. Of course, Frampton is nowhere near as slick and skilled. But when a guy is bringing that kind of pressure, it's difficult to stay in the pocket for 12 rounds. Frampton throws power punches and is a knockout artist. Yet, you call him out on his lack of grace when fighting on the back foot. But it seems to me that this is his adjustment for this seriously tough opponent. I predict Frampton KO within seven rounds. Right now, let me just say, I respectfully disagree with Mr. Cameron on Mayweather versus Madonna. Right? I... <laughs> Just like with this fight, I think Mayweather took over that fight in the middle rounds. 
I actually get the feeling Mayweather could stay in the pocket for 12 rounds. And I think if Mayweather stays in the pocket and keeps it in the middle of the ring, I think Maidana's in serious trouble. Right? I think they're only over by the side of the ring because Mayweather wants to be over at the side of the ring, in part because Floyd is 37 years old. Doesn't have the legs he once did. But let's get back to this fight. Just to understand, if Frampton wins by KO within seven rounds, then my hedge holds. You know, understand, I'm just trying to win on this fight. I'm just trying to pay for that next beer. So if Frampton comes out and is the KO artist, people here online seem to think he is. Right? Fine. That's okay. But I don't think the fight's going to go that way. Right? I think Martinez is actually going to deconstruct him as I thought he was doing in the second half of their first fight. Now let me just give you another point of view. Charles Distance, another subscriber, wrote, I think Frampton takes a decision eight rounds to four. Right now let me just say somebody else on YouTube here gave that a thumbs up. Right? There's actually a feeling that Frampton's gonna outbox Martinez. Taiwan Snow wrote, Frampton, in a competitive fight. Right? Um, in fact, Chris, VBNM, wrote the following. Right? And understand, there are those of you who feel Frampton is accomplished as a boxer. Right? Chris wrote, I don't see how you think Kiko Martinez has the better footwork. Frampton can box on the front foot or back foot very, very well. Kiko Martinez is one-dimensional, resembles Porter, Madonna, charge in and go to war. Frampton outboxes Martinez all day long and has equal, if not more, power than Martinez. If I was a bookie, I would give 10 to 1 for Kiko to win. Because in my opinion, he has no chance. He gets beat in every area, and there is nothing Kiko can do that Frampton can't. All he has is a puncher's chance. And plus, this is in Belfast, Frampton's home. You would have to kill him for him to lose. But then Chris adds, Frampton, KO round 8. Right? My point is simply this. If you're a gambler, and you'll know what I'm talking about, if you truly believe Frampton's going to win by KO, why not swing for the fences and have the KO hedge, but also go for the 4-1 to one odds on Martinez simply to win the fight? But Chris isn't going to do that because, of course, Chris believes that Frampton's not only the better puncher, he believes Frampton's the better boxer. Right Now, let me just say, when you're saying things like Frampton can box on the front foot or back foot very, very well, are we confusing Frampton with Floyd Mayweather here? I mean, Frampton, to me, looks crude. This is just a foundational disagreement here. Right? But understand, the feeling is out there because, in part, Frampton did win the first fight on his back foot, and Frampton is an unbeaten fighter, right? Let me point out, too, and keep in mind, after losing to Frampton, Martinez then takes on heavy guys, right? He beats the champ. He then goes on to beat Jeffrey Mathabula. He then goes on to beat Hazumi Hasegawa, right? Understand, Martinez is doing all of this by KO. But yet, Mr. ADDZ90 writes, Frampton's improving every fight, and in my opinion, Kiko is not. I think Carl's going to break him down 
and stop him late again. Right? Let me just say this. If you want to see a guy improving every fight, I would encourage you to look at the recent fights Martinez has had. Right? Seriously. Let me just say this. Look at Hasegawa. He's a southpaw. He throws that left awfully straight. Right? He's hanging tough. He throws straighter punches than Frampton. Let me tell you how that fight ends. Hasegawa hits the canvas twice. He's bleeding from the nose. Right? He couldn't handle Martinez's offensive game. Right? Understand Jeffrey Mathabula, in my opinion, has the better back foot game to Carl Frampton. Now this isn't to suggest that Frampton didn't beat Martinez the first time around. But understand, right, even Mr. Cameron, who I mentioned earlier, has Martinez winning the 6th and the 8th rounds. He's coming on against Frampton. Well, the point of this video is just to point out that the um, YouTube boxing public disagrees with me strongly on this fight. I'm going to close by reading another guy. Gio Berry, right, he writes, I'm not sure how exploiting defensive weaknesses of Frampton will help Martinez when he is a weaker and less accurate puncher. Okay, he lands a few more punches, but in the end, as he keeps coming forward, power will tell, and he will get hurt again. Stylistically, Martinez is in an unfavorable position, as it is a bad idea to walk down a puncher. Right? Again, understand. <laughs> I know the casinos agree with this comment, given the odds they've posted. But Martinez is on a run where he has KO'd world-class opponents right make no mistake about it he's winning fights by KO right even though I think Frampton probably hits a little bit harder than Martinez how can anyone really how can anyone say that Martinez isn't a closer that Martinez isn't capable of stopping world-class competition. Folks, go to BoxRec right now and look at Martinez's record. Look at the guys he stopped. Right? How do you stop Hazumi Hasegawa in Japan and then be listed as a 4-1 to underdog? Isn't that a bit ridiculous? Also, in terms of who's moving where, we know Frampton has been front foot heavy in some fights. Isn't he back foot heavy in this first fight? Right? Can we at least agree that the person who owns the pocket in the second half of this fight is Kiko Martinez? Well, anyway, I want boxing fans to realize that the videos here on YouTube aren't just about the people making the video. It's actually about the community's response to the video. Get the entire experience. As you look at today's Frampton Martinez video, don't just listen to my comments. I want you to listen to the comments of the people replying to the video. You have a lot of exotic views. They differ greatly from mine, right? People questioning Martinez's, you know, punching power, right? People believing that Frampton is the more technically sound guy, the better boxer than Martinez. People believing 
that Frampton actually is very skilled, whether he's on his front foot or on his back foot. Right? I view Frampton as less polished than Hasegawa, than the champion, I'm forgetting his last name, I think it's Jonathan Gonzalez, that Kiko Martinez beat. Right? And then Jeffrey Mathabula. Right? Understand, when you say a fighter has a 70% chance of winning a fight, that means he's going to lose 30% of the matches. Right? That first fight between Martinez and Frampton may have been an outlier. Right? It could well have been an outlier. Food for thought. Anyway, uh, just to understand, before you make a play on this fight, there's a broad difference of opinion. I view Martinez as a live underdog. I'll concede the puncher in this fight is Carl Frampton, although the gap is not that great. If it goes to a distance, whether it's in Belfast or in Frampton's living room, I'm expecting Martinez to have racked up the points and to win that by a few rounds. Right? I don't believe Martinez has to kill anyone to win this fight. Some of you disagree with me. Understand the fight is being fought in Frampton's home country. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com and uh, please continue to leave the comments if you see other betting angles on this fight. I hope you share them with all of us. Thanks for stopping by.